Okay, so our last question is from David. Um, I've got my first gig on Thursday night. Any top tips or do's and don'ts for the gig in terms of music or crowd interaction? Firstly, video high five for uh, first gig. That's absolutely nice brilliant. Yeah, so good. Um, any top tips for do's and don'ts for the gig in terms of music and crowd interaction? Yes, a couple. Number one, firstly, enjoy it. If it's mm. your first, if it's your actual first gig, first gig, then the most important thing is to take all pressure away from yourself and just enjoy it. That's the, that's the be all and end all because I want you to message me in 10 years time and say I'm on my thousandth gig and I don't want it to go wrong and for you to go, ugh, didn't like that, yeah. I'm not doing that anymore. So first and foremost, it's got to be fun. I remember my first gigs, I remember the feeling of just walking off the stage and just feeling invincible, mm. I, 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 even though we probably weren't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the you know, first gig I ever did was at a school. Yeah. Like at my school, and I convinced with my other bandmates, I convinced the headmaster to let us do a gig on the school stage. And I went to a very, very small school. Yeah. Like, my whole school was like 100 students. Wow. Yeah, from, <laughs> yeah. from, from the valley. <laughs> <you know? laughs> uh, it was a very small school. Yeah. But you know, we, we rehearsed, we put we put three songs together, we did a lunch break thing. I just was like, This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I remember doing my first actual proper gig. You know, all of these milestones are important and, and what I remember about them is how I felt, how amazing they were. So I didn't you know, I I would say don't put too much pressure on yourself. Mm. That is crucial. If you're watching my channel and you're about to do a first gig and you're going, right, we need to set up cameras and we've got social yeah, media yeah. and we need someone on the door and we need merchandise. Too much, too mm. much, too much. First gig. Just take it easy. <laughs> let's just enjoy this and have some fun, making sure that the fifth gig and the twelfth gig and the hundredth gig are gonna be amazing. Mm. We have got time. So that's the most important thing. Now when it comes to on stage, the most important thing I would say is Plan what you're going to say beforehand. Do not mm. walk on stage and start talking into a mic like you're talk like like I'm talking now. Because people talk differently. So if we're talking, mm. I don't talk like this. Yeah. I'm talking to communicate down a lens to people so that people watching we can we can kind of communicate. Mm. If we're talking, I'm less animated. Yeah. <laughs> but if if I'm on stage, I'm more animated mm. because I'm a little dot on the stage and all of a sudden I'm using my hands, I'm using my arms and I'm talking loud and I'm projecting through the microphone. So when you do that, when I'm on stage, I front bands, when I do that, the most important thing is I don't have conversations Yeah. I, because there's too much stuff going on. What I do is I give statements at all time. So the first thing I need to do when you give a statement is you are giving energy. That's the key. So you walk on stage, you play your first song and then you say one thing, very short thing, but the way you say it, whether you say, how's everybody doing? Everyone goes, oh, I know what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah. I go, yay, and you go, brilliant. If you don't need to talk, you don't need to talk. You just yeah. go into the next song and the next song and the next song. A song will do this, and they get to the end, and as soon as you go, bish, as soon as you do that, the vibe will start going down. <laughs> Instantly. Yeah. Bish. The energy does this. Your job is to go and back up again. Yeah, yeah. If it goes down too far, people get bored and they go, should we go to the bar? Mm. Or should we go outside for a fag? Or should we go and do something else? Or should we just leave? Mm. Your job is to not let that happen. And the way you do that is song after song after song. It's up tempo, it's fast, it's punchy, unless you're like, you know, unless you're a, a, a crooner. But on the whole, for most mm. bands, it's still energy. Even if you're not a metal band, even if you're like an acoustic act, it's still about again, again, mm. again. And then you only need to say things if you're getting a message across. So the messaging, messages you need to get across are very, very simple. Introducing the band uh, or you and who you are. That is it. Yeah. Everything after that is a bonus. The amount of times I go and see bands and I'm walking around going, who's this? Yeah. Who is this? And they're going, I don't know. And I'm mm. like, oh, do you know who this is? And I'm like, oh, I can't be asked anymore. And I just leave. Yeah. And I'm like, I would have added you. I would have added you on Facebook. I would have communicated. I would have engaged. I might have even been able to get you on a show or I might be been able to mm. promote you. And I don't know because I don't know who your band are. And I'm not waiting around. I'm not going to be that guy that taps you on the shoulder and goes, I help bands, don't you know? Uh, can yeah. you uh, <laughs> tell me who you are? I mean, I look like a, yeah. I look like a dickhead. So I'm not going to do that. No, it's always so, worth just repeating it. I Absolutely, again and yeah. again and again, three, four, five times. And just even say, I'm ramming this home. Get your phones out. Get mm. your phones out and add us on Facebook or get your phones out and add us on Instagram. 
That's what I would be doing on a gig. And it wouldn't just be at the end, because people come and go. It would be three or four times. Other than that, your job is to just provide energy. Mm -hmm. When you say, how's everybody doing? Everyone just goes, yeah. You're keeping people in the moment. When you say, has everyone had a good time? Everyone says, yeah. When you say, scream for me, everyone goes, yeah. Yeah. No, those are the bits where you're just making a statement and it's part of the show. Mm -hmm. As soon as you say, so a funny thing happened when I came today. I was on the way and there's lots of traffic. Mm -hmm. People are like, no, wrong. This is not a comedy show. This is a gig. I just need energy. Mm. If you have a story to tell, you better believe that that story better be something that you've told a lot of times Mm. and that you can project through a microphone, down through the lead, through massive speakers, where the sound guy might have too much bass on it. Mm. Because the last thing you want to be doing, and it happens all the time when I see bands, where what I'm actually listening to is... Mm. And I'm like, I'm sure this is a funny story, but I can't hear it. Mm. When you say... Make some noise. Like, you can't mess that up. Yeah. Everyone just goes, Aah! that's just what people do, isn't it? So, so that's th- those are my two bits of, 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 um, of advice. Number one, just enjoy it. And when it comes to what you do and what you say, play, get as many songs in as possible. Make sure that first song is your, is your killer song. Mm. People leave it till the end. And I'm like, just play it first. Yeah, yeah. Because people go, but you just wait, you just wait, you just wait. It happens all the time. See, covers bands do it. Just wait, though, just wait. People don't. They just mm. don't wait. They just bugger off. Yeah. So rather than saying, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and now you stay till the end, you get a reward. Mm. Well, you're the one who's messed up because lots of people have gone, oh, should we go? It's not interesting. Mm. You walk on that stage and you literally, well, you metaphorically punch them in the face yeah. <laughs> you walk on stage and you play something yeah don't literally do that <laughs> yeah, don't punch in the face. but you walk on stage you know you look at Robbie Williams and he walks on and he does let me entertain you at the end of that song it doesn't matter whether you like Robbie Williams that makes no difference whatsoever for his audience as soon as you get to the end of that song as soon as he finishes that song he's like this mm. and his audience are here at that point he can do anything he wants he just goes whatever yeah. <laughs> whatever because he's played that song and everyone's like oh that was amazing after that he'll go into strong or something else he doesn't need to go into angels he just goes let me entertain you i can do what i want now because i've just killed this if he just went i'll put a couple of bits in but i'll put that at the end the vibe's like you want it to go wee. so for me it's and you know if you're playing an hour to an hour and a half set and, it's, and everyone's there just to see you, like you know, because you're Coldplay, fine. But most of the people watching, you aren't Coldplay. So mm. don't don't think that you're Coldplay. You are there to get people who have never heard of you before into your band. So get on that stage and rip up that first mm. song. In fact, the first three, but the first song's key. Make sure you keep saying your name and make sure you just have loads of fun.